having the foundation that I have now, everything is making sense. All the puzzles are coming together. It's, it's a wonderful, joyful ride. Good morning and happy Friday, or probably Saturday because you will be watching this after Friday. Today is day five of me learning all about cybersecurity with the SANS Foundations course. And I'm very excited because today I'm going to be tackling the juicy modules. Now that I have a, a foundation of understanding of how the different pieces, the different puzzles are coming together in cybersecurity, we're going to look at security concepts and offensive security concepts. So I'm super excited. I do need to finish the advanced hardware uh, module and I am halfway through the second out of four uh, modules. So we're gonna go back into that lab. Today, this morning has been pretty slow. I don't know why, so it's already 10 a.m. But nevertheless, we're gonna tackle that module and then get into the rest of the course. Let's do this. The moment we've been waiting for is here. I am done with the advanced computer hardware modules and which were very hard, I'm not gonna lie. And we're about to start on the security concepts. I'm super excited about this because this is the juicy part. <laughs> um, and we've been building a foundation so that we understand all of these concepts, all of these principles. So. I'm very excited. I have a very good foundation now that these concepts can kind of build upon. And I have to say, I did not expect this course to be as granular and to cover as many topics, but it all makes sense because it gave me the foundation to understand this stuff, right? I, um, I now understand how the different pieces of the puzzles fit together and how they can be exploited. So it's very interesting and such a great course for anyone who wants to have an understanding in this, especially if you're trying to change careers and you want to have a good base, a good solid base, a good solid of understand, understanding of how things work together. So we're gonna get started on the encryption one, which I'm so excited about, and I'll let you know how it goes. I really hope that it's a lot of material. I'm going to try my best to go through it all and get into offensive security concepts because that's also very interesting by the end of the day, but I know I will not finish that in these series of vlogs. So just got to set expectations for myself on what I can do. So encryption one, less talking, more studying. All right, so we have reached a lab. We're going to create a file and we're going to encrypt it and then we're going to decrypt it. We're going to go ahead and create a temporary directory and go there. Yep, you're not supposed to see this. Okay, let's use the command provided to encrypt it and save it as a new file. Oh, we have to add uh, an encryption password. We have created a new file, we should have. Yes, there it is. And let's write it out, simink.ink. Ha, huh? salted. That's our encrypted file. Okay, let's decrypt it. So output file is going to be called output.txt and then, okay, enter decryption password. Output.txt should show us. So let's do cat output.txt. You're not supposed to see this. We've decrypted it. Ha! We've encrypted it and decrypted it with a symmetric encryption, which means that you use the same passcode encrypting it and decrypting it. Pretty cool, not gonna lie. I'm loving the security concepts module so far. We've learned about encryption. I've managed to break a file 
um, that the lab has provided. It was a challenge. And now I'm on to the second module within that module, which is all about ethics and law and what you should do, what you shouldn't do. As someone who is curious about cybersecurity and developing their skills in it. So, and I think it's such an important module. So I'm, I'm loving it already honestly and i can't wait for more but i'm hungry yes surprise i'm hungry so i'm gonna go have lunch it's two already so i'm gonna go have lunch and continue uh watching some of the video content because that that makes the cooking process easy so but i might have leftovers anyway i will be watching videos during Sounds lunch good. We are back and we're zooming through some of the materials. Very interesting stuff. Learned about the different stages of attacks. I'm excited because some of the modules are actually going to go deeper into those stages and into forensics. So very, very excited. And friends, we are 64% through the course, which makes me Pretty happy. All right, let's get back to it because it's interesting stuff. And I do want to take the evening off because it's Friday and I kind of want to hang out with my husband tonight. So it is 3.34. Let's see how far we can get before dinner. But this is my dessert for um, while I'm learning about security distributions, which to be honest, I am so happy that I'm learning about this stuff. Honestly, I used to be so scared whenever I saw Kali Linux. I had no idea what it was. I knew it was something to do with cybersecurity, but now I'm just like, yeah, Kali Linux. Like, of course, duh. Um, all right, let's get back into it. Sounds dry. It's so nice outside and I literally haven't gone outside uh, since last Sunday. So it's the fifth day that I haven't been outside. So I'm gonna go outside and hang out for a little bit there. And I'm going to take this baby. There's a very nice mobile version of the course. Very easy to um, study everything there. So I'm just going to go outside and get some fresh air, honestly, um, while learning more about forensics. We're entering the forensics module, which I'm very excited about. I have to say security concepts modules have been just so incredibly interesting. Uh, and knowing, having the foundation that I have now everything is making sense all the puzzles are coming together it's it's a wonderful joyful ride i know that in preparation for the exam i will have to go over all of this material once again and practice some of the stuff and i want to write proper notes with diagrams and maybe print out some images of you know, computer components and all these things and just draw gra diagrams for myself so that I remember things visually. But it's awesome. Like, even though I don't understand some of the principles completely, I still have a good enough foundation right now to understand this to a much deeper level than I would have not having had that foundation, if that makes sense. All right, I need fresh air. Let's go outside. It was so nice working outside. I really needed that. It was so refreshing and I needed that sunlight. It was, yeah, very welcome. And the mobile version of the course works really well. Everything is obviously optimized. The only thing that I couldn't do is the labs, but I would go inside and do them and then go back out and catch those sun rays. But we are 71% through the course and I think I'm gonna call it a day call it a week actually 71 percent i am impressed i didn't think that it would get here but here we are we're 11 percent through this second forensics module which you know there are three of them but look how much security concepts i have covered today and honestly it was so incredibly interesting especially forensics i know i'm not fully in it yet <laughs> I know I haven't done all of the modules uh, regarding forensics, but the first one just got me super interested. Um, it's like being a detective when it comes to all of these different systems and all of the different puzzles that we've talked about. It's, 
it's so cool. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to have to do this course. And I'm very excited to dive deeper into the topics to practice these concepts and to do the exam. Speaking of which, the exam is going to happen in a couple of months and the certification for it is currently pending. So I am and the exam is included in the course. So I'm very excited. It's an open book exam, which means that I'm going to create notes and I will be able to bring physical notes to the exam. So my plan for studying for the exam is to go back into the well, first of all, finish the modules that I haven't finished, but then what I want to do, and we have offensive security concepts that I haven't done and I haven't touched network and computer infiltration, which are more advanced. So it makes sense why they build on top of each other. And I wouldn't be able to understand what's happening in the network and the computer infiltration one right now, just yet. But once I've done all of them, I will go through them one by one once again, and I will actually apply the skills that those modules teach in real life or virtual machine life scenarios. I really want to practice those. I really want to grasp those concepts because I think they're so incredibly interesting. And, you know, as a business owner also, it's so valuable to know all of this information because I can plan for that kind of stuff, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into those modules one by one, practice them and maybe create content about me practicing them or create content about them so that, you know, my brain is on, on the same wavelength as those materials and then write detailed notes, making sure that I'm capturing all of the information, all of the details that are in the courses. And of course, adding my own from my own personal experience, because oh, why not? And then when it comes to the exam, of course, reviewing all of my notes and hey, making my own index, my own file system of metadata and how I can search through it if needed, because I'm a, an advanced file system, filing system, memory system, anyway. And then I will take the exam. I will create another video on that whole process where I show how I prepare for the exam. And while I won't be able to take the camera into the actual exam room, because there are certain regulations that we'll need to follow and I won't be able to record myself doing that. I will talk about my preparation and I will also talk about my experience taking the exam, which is a multiple choice exam from what I understand. I did not expect this much information from this course. Like, honestly, I knew it was going to be very thorough, but I didn't realize how much there is to cybersecurity. And now that I do it, this field is just even more interesting to me. I love it. It's awesome. So yeah, all of that is to come. And I'm also going to create a video with an overview, my summary of the course, my thoughts on it and all that stuff that will be much more structured. So you can follow along if you're thinking whether this is the right course for you or not. I will provide all of my thoughts on that in that video. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you haven't seen all of the vlogs yet, there's a handy playlist, which I will leave a link to in the description. And of course, the link to the course is in the description. I know it has been in overlays, but I don't think I've ever actually said that. The course link is in the description and some useful resources from Sans is, are also in the description. So go and have a look at them. Cybersecurity is awesome and it needs more professionals. So if you found any of the stuff that I was talking about interesting, honestly, consider this. It's such a wonderful career trajectory. And honestly, there's such a demand for professionals in the field and such a shortage of professionals in the field. So yeah, if you want to be a digital detective, essentially, it's so cool. And learning all of this just makes me realize just how cool it is. Again, thank you for tuning in and thank you Sans for sponsoring this set of vlogs and enabling this experience for creating this amazing course. I, I'm in love, honestly, I am. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this format, whether you're interested in cybersecurity, whether you have learned something new about what this industry, what the, what the roles in the industry 
um, imply, contain, involve. That's the word I was looking for. Like this video if you've enjoyed it and share with your friends who might be interested in cybersecurity or, or who you know enjoy being detectives and you think that this industry would be perfect for them. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And of course, we can also be friends on other social media. You can find me as Coding Blonde. Have a wonderful time today you're currently experiencing. And watch out for that summary video. <laughs> Bye.